Welcome to Travel and Work Channel. We bring you the latest news, updates and information about traveling, studying, working and living abroad. Please subscribe for consistent information. Thank you. I will first of all explain what a H-1B visa means. It is a temporary non-immigrant visa category that allows employers to petition for highly educated foreign professionals to work in specialty occupations that require at least a bachelor's degree or the equivalent. The H-1B visa interview is the final part of the application before they issue the visa. The applicant must convince the official asking the questions that they are fit to get the H-1B visa. The embassy will schedule the interview at an appropriate time. You as the applicant must make sure to attend it at that time. If you must reschedule, you have to inform the embassy beforehand. The embassy will reschedule, but this will increase the processing time of your visa. Sometimes the embassy is so busy that they will reschedule the interview after a few weeks. So it is best to attend when they initially schedule it. You must not miss the interview under any circumstances. If you miss it, it will send a message to the officials that you are not serious about getting the visa. This will decrease your chances of getting it and going to the U.S. and working. It is recommended that you try and research potential questions before the interview. You must be prepared to answer all the questions, the official might potentially ask. I will give you a list of commonly asked H-1B visa interview questions. You might want to grab your pen and paper and write these down. The U.S. Embassy official will first ask you to hand in copies of your supporting documents. This includes your approved Form I-129 petition and your other qualifications. You must make sure that you have the file with you, so you do not seem unprepared. Then the official will start asking questions. The sections of the questions they will ask are in these parts, general questions, qualification questions, H-1B company background questions. Whichever questions they start with first, you must answer correctly and truthfully. If you give incorrect information, the official will know and they will deny your visa. The general questions will be more as introductory questions rather than detailed ones. The official will try to get the sense of whether you know why you are going to the U.S. and how long you plan to stay. They want to know whether you know anyone in the U.S. or whether your family will join you. The most important part in this section of questions will be to determine your intent to return to your home country. You must convince the embassy official that you intend to return. You must provide concrete answers and documents such as a property deed, lease agreement, or loan documents. Some of the general questions could be as follows. Could you please give me your passport and passport number? Have you ever traveled outside of your home country before? Have you ever been to the U.S. before? Why do you want to go to the U.S.? Why do you want to work in the U.S.? What will you work in the U.S.? Which U.S. state are you going to? Do you have family or friends in the U.S.? Have you ever studied in the U.S.? Are you married? If yes, then how long? Will your spouse, children be joining you in the U.S.? What citizenships do you hold? Have you ever immigrated to another country before? Do you plan on returning to your home country after your work in the U.S. ends? If yes, then why? Could you please provide me with your approved Form I-129? So, these are some of the general questions you can expect to be asked. Now, I will move on to the qualifications questions you can be asked. The qualification questions are about your education and previous work experience. Since the H-1B visa is for people in specialty occupations, you must prove you have extensive skills. You can do so by explaining what your education was about, where you completed it, and whether you have certifications. You must also show you are capable of doing the job you are hired for through previous work experience. They will ask you to explain your job, duties, and why you left. If you have had optional practical training, OPT, in the U.S. before, the official will also ask you about your experience. Questions regarding your education and previous work experience that would be asked are, could you please provide me with your diplomas and certifications? What is the highest degree that you have? What was your major? Where did you complete your education? 
When did you graduate? Did you do any internship during your studies? Did you do any research projects during your studies? What was the topic of your thesis? Do you have any additional certifications? What do you consider to be your skills? Do you plan to continue your education or get a certification? What was the last job you worked in? What were your duties there? Which company did you work for? How long was this experience? What was your salary? Why did you stop working for that company? How does your previous experience relate to what you will do in the U.S.? Could you please give us your recommendation letters or letters from your previous employers? Now, I'll move on to the next. The H-1B company background questions which is the final section of the interview will be on the company background. You must show enough knowledge about the company you will work for in the U.S. The U.S. Embassy official will want to know that the company actually exists and is legitimate. They want to make sure you are not getting a fake job from someone in the U.S. and that you are not trying to make up a fake company just to leave your home country. You will have to provide a thorough description of the company and your duties there. You must know the names of the company leaders and your supervisor. You must also have pictures of the company, their financial statements, and tax filings. I will now list the common questions about the background of your company are. Please take note. Which company will you work for in the U.S.? What will be your position? Can you provide a description of your job? What will be your salary? How did you find out about this company? How did you apply for the job? How long did it take you to get this job? How many rounds of interviews and tests did you have? What does this company do? Who is the president of the company? Who will be your supervisor? Does this company sponsor other H-1B visa employees? If so, how many? Do you have any pictures of what the company looks like? If so, could you please show us? How will you pay for your expenses until you get your salary? Could you please show us the company's financial information? Could you please show us the company's tax documents? The questions are in sections, but that does not mean that all interviewers will follow the order. Most likely, the embassy official will ask them as the topic comes up and not follow a specific section. Because of that, prepare yourself to answer any question in whatever order they ask you. There is no definite answer about how long the H-1B visa interview is. There are cases when the interview can last for an hour. But there are also cases when the official will only ask three or four questions. However, you should prepare for an interview of around 30 minutes long. Most H-1B visa decisions are made immediately after the visa interview. The interviewer decides to give you the visa and they will stamp your passport right there. You will get the passport and then you can start making travel arrangements. There are cases when the interviewer needs more time to make a decision. They might want to review the documents more or talk to their supervisors about how your interview went. This process will generally not last more than one week. When the embassy makes a decision, they will stamp your passport and mail it back to you. I hope that I have been able to cover areas you will need to prepare for your H-1B interview. If this video has been helpful, why don't you consider subscribing? Thank you.